Hey, how you doing? David Taub here. Thanks for joining us. Today I have three picking tips that I think will really help you along in your guitar journey and really help you with your picking. You know, I'm in a really unique position as a teacher that I get to see so many students, right? And I get to see the challenges that so many students face across different playing styles, across different level of player, beginner, intermediate, expert, no matter what genre of music. And I think a lot of the same picking mistakes happen over and over again. And hey, if you have a second, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe give us a thumbs up if you like the video, click the like button, leave a comment in the comment box. Tell us what you like about the video, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. It really helps us to keep the content coming. Uh, we so appreciate it. And these are three tips that will instantly help you along your guitar journey when it comes to your picking and help tie the right and left hands together. Now, very important to just to make sure that the pick isn't moving in your hands or spinning. A lot of students have that problem and that can be easily taken care of. There's a lot of different picks on the market out there. Some have holes in them, uh, which help grip. Some have grips built right into the pickup or cuts in them. Some are made of nylon with bumps and ridges that help students. So be sure to try these different picks out if you're having that problem. One thing too is always keep in mind that no matter what touches the strings, if it's your fingers, if it's the pick, the size of the pick, the thickness of the pick, that's going to affect the tone, the sound, the timbre coming out of the guitar. So when you're looking and trying different picks, certainly go for what's comfortable, but also listen to the sounds and how the sound changes, because you might like the tone of one pick over the other, right? So comfort, yes, and tone. And these tips have to deal with how you're attacking the strings and how you are holding the pick. And it might be a little bit uncomfortable when you try these at first, but believe me, if you can push through the newness of it and the uncomfortableness of it and stick with it, but if you can push through that discomfort, you're gonna find in the long run these are really gonna help, okay? So the first one has to do with how the pick is cutting through the strings. And I have found that if you angle the pick slightly, instead of taking it dead on, now I'm not talking about strumming, I'm talking about when you're picking. When you, when you, when you take the pick and angle it, it really cuts through the strings a lot better with a lot less friction. Now, if I take the pick, I'm gonna show you a tight shot on this and flatten it out like a lot of people play straight on the strings. I can't even... I can't even do it that way. I'm, I'm so not used to it and I'm, it just doesn't feel right and it just doesn't cut through. But when I angle it, no matter what string, I could really attack through and whatnot. But let me take you in on a tight shot. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I say angling the pick to the strings. And I switch to this white pick just because there's more contrast, you'll be able to see it a little bit differently. Okay, a lot of students, and I'm choking back for instructional purposes. A lot of students, what they do is they put the pick like this and they're picking with the pick basically which is parallel to the strings, right? Flat, flat this way. What I'm suggesting is just try this. Take the pick and angle it, right? So now the pick is angled to the strings. You can angle it this way. Some students like angling it downward that way. I personally like angling it this way. And I'm not talking about doing it so it's vertical. You don't want to do that because then you'll lose too much tone. But you want to take that pick and I'm going to just angle it a little bit and it'll really slice through those strings with so much less friction than if you do it this way. Like I showed you before, like if I hold the pick like this and just, you see how I get hung up? It just doesn't work as well for me and most of my students as when we angle the pick. And then when the pick is angled, it just, just, just cuts right through. If you're starting like this, and again, just a little downward movement, that's all you need. It's very subtle, but the impact is huge, right? So not flat, angle a little bit, pick to string this way, or some people like this way but that little angle is gonna make all the difference in the world. And hey, if you want a free video lesson and an ebook that'll really help you out with your lead playing, the ebook is packed with scale diagrams, soloing strategies, more lessons, it's awesome. The video lesson is just a, a, a packed feast for lead guitar. 
Click on that link below and I'll send it to you for free. The second tip I have is how you're holding the pick as far as how much of the surface is actually exposed. A lot of students are really choked back on the pick like this. And while that might be cool for strumming, for picking, you'll have a lot more control if you choke down. If you move down with your fingers toward the tip, if you use the tip on the strings. Now I'm not saying go all the way down to you just have this itty bitty little tiny little bit exposed, but you know, try to come back a little bit, you know, just so you have this much exposed. Try it. It really helps. My picking position, I like having about that much exposed. What that does is it really gives you the control that you need. And if you take that pick on an angle like I showed you, see if you have it way down here, the pick is, is much harder to control and it becomes a bit too floppy. But having that pick choked down on and angled really make a big difference. So when I'm talking about burying the pick, and again, I'm gonna choke down on it just to show you. When I'm talking about burying the pick in the strings, don't put the pick all the way in through the string because then it's gonna take so much to come back out and then this way for your next pick and then this way and then this way, right? I'm making this exaggerated, but I think you get the point. Remember, you're choking down. So you just want enough of the pick to cross the string so you can come back. Too much, too much pick, and you're wasting time and motion. It should be very economical. You just want the tip, and again, angled. I'm just showing you this for instructional purposes, right? And I just use a having this white pick just to make it a little bit more so you could see it better. But you want to have it angled like this to the strings and just crossing it. Don't bury it. Okay, so there you have three picking tips that are on my top three. Don't forget, click that subscribe button. That really helps us to keep the content coming. Give us a like, right? Leave a comment. I'm David Taub. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you find this lesson helpful. Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. You can do it. Take care. Rock on.